The month of June continues to bring great weather and even better baseball as the Utica Unicorns won four straight games and continue to sit atop of the leaderboard. I'm Justin Orndeff, Director of Baseball Operations, and this week in the USBL starts now. It was wizard night at Jimmy John's Field with characters from Fairy Tale Entertainment all around the ballpark. Center fielder Drew Galassi's RBI double in the top of the first was all the Unicorns needed to get the win over the Beavers. In his first start, Jordan Carr fueled the Unicorns pitching three innings and allowing no hits. Friday night was a perfect night for baseball and fireworks. The Unicorns brought the power on Purple Power Day with three home runs from Drew Galassi, Noah Childress, and Ari Sakopoulos. Keon Taylor picked up his third win as the Unicorns beat the Mammoths in a come-from-behind victory 6-3. Elijah Salaya hit what would be the game-winning home run in the top of the sixth inning in Game 1 of Saturday, June 12th's doubleheader as the Birmingham Bloomfield Beavers would rally back to beat the Eastside Diamond Hoppers. Hopper's shortstop Juan Lopez Rio would be the hero in the second game, knocking the game-winning run in the bottom of the seventh. Hopper's starter Andrew Verbruge had a great outing, pitching four innings with only one earned run. Drew Galassi hit his third home run of the season and scored two runs on Sunday Fun Day as the Unica Unicorns won their fourth straight game to beat the Westside Willie Mammoths 5-1. Miguel Serino pitched three innings for the Unicorns, allowing no runs. It was the first Oldies Wednesday night at Jimmy John's Field. The Beavers snapped a long Unicorns win streak with a 5-3 win. Malik Barrington threw five strong innings, striking out seven and giving up one run, and Travis McFarlane hit a Beaver bomb. Polish American Heritage Night was another success at Jimmy John's Field and featured a great pitching duel between Westside's Jackson Hicks and Eastside's Pierce Banks. Hicks pitched 5.2 innings, striking out five, and Banks left the game after five innings with six strikeouts. The Hoppers came out on top with a 5-3 victory. The traditional Friday Fireworks Spectacular Show continued after the game as the Hoppers shut out the Beavers 3-0. Ricardo Velez shined in his USPBL debut, throwing five innings, striking out nine, and picking up the win. Saturday's June 19th game gave fans a great pitching show. Mammoth's left-handed pitcher Greg Lukanen struck out nine batters in three innings as he pitched, giving the Mammoths a 4-3 win over the Utica Unicorns. Sunday was Father's Day with a sellout crowd at Jimmy John's Field. The Eastside Diamond Hoppers beat the Birmingham Bloomfield Beavers 10-3. Ben McConnell went 3-for-5 with two runs scored, and Christian De Los Santos drove in three for the Hoppers. So it's been a great experience. Yeah, there's lots of events around here, especially for the family. Come early, get a lot of things uh, done, go out on the field, run the bases. So it's a good overall experience. I just think it's really cool to run a professional baseball stadium's bases. I'm gonna run the bases and just keep playing at the park too. We've been playing baseball, we were playing on the playground, and we also have been watching the game. I think it's a way for kids to bond and have fun with each other. Completely exceeded all three of our expectations. It's fun that they have the batting that the kids can do, the play area. We have good seats, and it seems like all the seats are good here. So the food's good, it's a lot of fun. It's a fun atmosphere. That's it for this week in the USPBL. I look forward to seeing you at Jimmy John's Field.